Hey, give me one second. Get my life together. No, I'm good, I'm good. Hey, what's up? I'm Lillian McAvoy, and I am a sophomore at Central High School. Oh, school? I want to say sorry to my mom in advance. <laughs> this is called eye addiction. Hours upon hours upon hours until days. No, millennials and us Gen Zs aren't only to blame. Mom stares and stares for seconds upon minutes and hours in a day and waste the day again, uh, waste the day away <laughs> until tomorrow, then again. For what? For fake news and other people's business? For what? Mom hides the phone when I walk by. She knows she has a problem. She knows she has a problem. It can't only be blamed on the phone, but must also be blamed on the phone. Phones don't kill people. People kill people. If I don't get enough likes on a post, it kills me. Oh, digital age, we are alive but dead. We are zombies strolling the streets with our heads low on screens, run over by drivers who can't look up for one second because more pressing matters are pressing a button, no, tapping a screen, and I can't act all high and mighty because I'd die without it, but I will anyway. I will die blanketed in the emitted blue light as I scroll and scroll and scroll into the black of night. Blame me, you can name me and aim your products at me, but I will not bite into the eye worm. I will not be hooked on this faux food so many believe they can live on. No, I do not need a smartphone. I will flip my flip phone or flip out. I can satisfyingly slam shut and my screen won't shatter. I won't shatter. I won't crack under the societal pressures of iPhone addiction. It is not because we are allegedly being watched through them, but because we constantly watch them. And everyone watches them and no one else and no one listens to me or anyone else and I try to talk to mom but she's too wrapped up on Facebook arguments to realize the real thing should be fight, be, she should be fighting is Facebook itself. Living, breathing, judging the internet, inescapable all knowledge I never need, available to me at all times whenever I don't need it. The threat of hundreds of friends is an immediate audience trapped in a box in my pocket, tapping on the, ski, on the keys like pounding on doors. Shattered screens still don't allow escape. Screen protectors account for that, so sorry I don't text back. But I'm in the real world, the world not a virtual reality, yet I find myself being tugged away. I will go down with the humans before the robots get to me. Reality will convert to reality TV and they will have our arms microchipped, our dreams on erasable flash drives. Eventually we won't even need our own brains and mom will inject her Facebook like heroin. What an enemy and a hero we have, all the world's fast facts in our typing hands behind our shattered screens that chip away at bloodied fingers and at the humanity left in our souls. But the irony of it all is I type this up while staring at a computer screen.